that's a way to start the video. Training montage, and we earn a skill point. First skill point of the series. So we go over here. Spending skills on skill nods will improve your stealth and fighting skills. Alright, that makes sense. What is this? Auto collect. Loot an enemy automatically after a stealth kill or assassination. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. <clears throat> Predator. In Niku views reveals keys and highlight opportunities like chests with a glow. Secret entrances are also easier to discover. That's another cool one too. After a successful parry, press triangle to strike the parry enemy. Use they have to strike another direction. Oh wow. We can kick him off. Kick him off. Alright, that's cool. Alright, so I think for now. I'm gonna do the kickback. Okay, that looks pretty cool. That definitely looks pretty cool. And then we'll go we're gonna go up after each one of them each at a time, so. Alright, so inventory. Still the same pretty much. Alright. But man, what a way to start the video of a training montage montage that he was doing. Go to Al Hassan's workshop. So, can I jump? Oh, look at that. Take the leap of faith. Ooh. So there was a hay right there. That's cool. Assalamu alaikum, I must Wait, can we talk Hassan. to these guys? He awaits me. No, we can't talk to them, but they were talking automatically, so. Man, that was a good leap of faith right there this time, man. He actually mastered the leap of faith. That's cool. Oh, there's our friend right here. Assalamu alaikum, Rebecca. Wa alaikum assalam, Basim. It was a slow and boring day. Did you not know that I have been called to be initiated? Oh? We are really initiating anyone now. Where is this all coming from? <laughs> oh, calm down. I'm well aware this is the great day of Basim. Wafakaka Allah. So that training montage definitely did a lot because he his beard has grown. He already has a grown beard, baby. And it looks like they're down there. So oh, there's steps over here, and I was gonna jump. <laughs> All right, let's see what he wants. Let's speak with him. How are you feeling on this auspicious it is strange, Al Hassan? My head is calmer than I believed it would be. I thought I would be a stormy sea inside. But I am calm and quiet. Because you have dedicated yourself to your training and left nothing to chance. Here, Basim. You have earned this. It is a great honor. I suspect you understand that. Roshan and the others are waiting for me. Modan. And thank you, Al Hassan. So reach the cave entrance. Uh, a wrap package. There is one thing I do know about today's ceremony. Basim will leave the cave a little bit lighter than he went in. <laughs> but do not be wicked. Wicked? I am just being honest. I want to talk to this guy. Good day, Tabid. What are you busying yourself with? Have you heard about Iltani? One of the first of our founders. She assassinated Alexander the Great with an ingenious poison. I have attempted to recreate it from historical records. Iltani has taught me that no enemy is untouchable, no matter how powerful they appear. Thank you for this lesson. Well, for Kakallah. Ah, he's trying to recreate a poison that killed Alexander the Great. That's some BS right there. Wow, this place is beautiful. Look at this. So right here inside the cave, it looks like. <clears throat> How are you feeling? Ready to make the leap. I wish you to know it has been an honor to watch you walk your path as a novice and as a man. 
I am grateful to you for leading the way before me. I am honored. Come, your new robes await. Ah, they suit you well. Come, it is time. We got ourselves a new outfit. How did you feel on that day so long ago? I felt afraid. <laughs> my palms were slick with sweat and my knees were shaking. Damn. So this is like their initiation ceremony where we're finally a true assassin. That makes sense. But these new robes, of course, that's going to be a good acceptance to this initiation of being a tree. you being afraid. Allow me to share a secret with you on this important day. To have courage means to act in the midst of feeling great fear. Man, they got everybody ready here for the ceremony. That's crazy. Crazy enough that we're finally part of their creed as assassins. Bassem Ibn Ishaq, are you ready to leave your life behind and walk the path of shadows? I am. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? Ready to sacrifice everything you held close? I am. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Say your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Then, out of the dark, you will come into the light. And from the light, you will return to the dark. So we're gonna cut ourselves. All right, let's cut ourselves. Ibnis Hawk, you now follow in the Eagle's path. You have died and been reborn. Now, fight me as your equal. Oh, Lose oh God. Focus again. Gotta pay attention to the colors. Oh god, I was gonna die. Letting your anger take hold yeah. again. Which one oh, will I strike oh. with next? How is that for focus? Oh, my sword. Yeah. When this man 
finally faces the monster. Oh. You have trained me well, Rocha. Sai, Juni. Noor! Noor! Do not strain. Save your strength. He traveled unprepared. Left Baghdad in a hurry. Here. Drink. <laughs> Ali. He is gone. They took him in the night. They? The Order. Bring him to my tent. If Ali is gone, we are blind. The Order has put a fog over Baghdad and their movements. We must go to Baghdad. Hmm. Roshan, Basim, go with Fulev. Leave at once. So we're going to Baghdad after the guy we saw in the last episode went to Baghdad when we were still training. And now he's gone. Oh, I got a silver trophy for that. Sent from the sea. In Baghdad, perfume was used in food, ink, and even mosquito building. One of the most sought after perfume green was Indian ambergris. Oh, I didn't even see with the rest. Didn't even see the rest. We should keep moving. I would like to look around first, if I may. Baghdad and its surroundings call to me. Very well, but do not be long. There will be much to do once we reach Harbiya. Look for a lattice-covered courtyard near Shara's mosque. That is where Noor was gathering his information. That is where we will be. Mm. So we arrived at Baghdad. Man, what a beautiful sight in the ancient, ancient Middle East. Baghdad. Now, where does my heart take me? So we gotta fall, locate the bureau. So, oh, I can run onto my camel. That's awesome. We're riding a camel out here. Man, that's awesome. We're riding a camel. So we're gonna go to the location of the campaign, of course. Man, this is beautiful. I gotta give Ubisoft, Ubisoft some credit. Oh, there were some guards over there I saw. I gotta give Ubisoft credit because this is a nice, beautiful, ancient Baghdad in the ancient times of the Middle East. Which, shout out to any of my Middle Eastern fans out there. 
But my goodness, this is beautiful. This is hella beautiful. So many people around there steaming chickens. They even got animals. Wow. This is amazing. But we're almost getting close to our destination, it looks like. And there's some guards right there. Just chilling out, hanging out. The Quarter, quarter Ball Gate. Hopefully I pronounced that right. So we made it to the entrance. We made it to the entrance. But I'm still gonna be on my camel. Such familiar sights. Greetings once again, Baghdad. Show me what I have missed. Let's see. What is that right there? Get out of my camel for a second because I want to see what this is. Interact. Codex update. Imperium of the world. Oh, it's a codex thing. Okay. What does this person speak? Hello. Be welcome here. You the shop items. What have you got today? Here is what's available. Oh, so we can get stables. Here you can buy new appearances for your mount on for your and you can modify these at any time by using stable services. Oh, but they cost they cost money to get a horse. I only have 81. We got our own falcon and the falcons are a little bit more pricier. I see. Is that okay. it for now? Yeah. I will see you later. Don't be a stranger. So she, we can buy a horse or another falcon if he wanted to. Okay. Let's get back under our camel. And head on towards this way. Man, my little, this is so awesome. The ancient times of Baghdad. And we're already in Assassin's Creed out here. <laughs> we're already part of the Creed. That's something. Before, before we continue... Before we continue going forward, I want to see what's over here. Is there anything over here? Metal factory. So if we could just collect it. Wow, we can just collect it with him talking. Collecting some some stuff I'm seeing. There's some guards. So this is a metal factory with a lot of things. I didn't need to be stealthy, but. Just looking around. Looking around. It's a big world, too. Oh, there's another one of those codex things over here. We are doing a little exploring in this video, so... This looks amazing. Oh, sorry, bro. Can pick that up? Oh, I'm just collecting a... I'm just collecting a lot of stuff, including coins in a peak fetter. So we know what we can use for the coins. For the peak feathers. Oh, oh, we found a flamingo feather. Oh, what? Oh, we can pickpocket. Oh, didn't meant to do that. Oh, committed an illegal action raises the nor notoriety. The more severe the transition, the more notoriety will gain. The notoriety will change. Okay. I'm just gonna run so that way. They don't know I was here. I'm gonna do this again, but this time... I gotta time it. Nice. But that guy looking too. That was something. Alright. Command tokens are currencies that can be spent for favors from the factions of Baghdad. They can be earned by completing contracts, opening certain chests, or by pickpocketing people on the streets. Ah, that's cool. I did some pickpocketing and then we're good. And taking some stuff out here. I'm gonna go over here real quick. Oh, sorry. They meant to... To do anything. Armor enemies. Certain enemies will have their torso protected by armor and it's impenetrable by both ranged weapons and melee attacks. Try to get behind these foes to be able to deal damage to them. I want to go over here. 
Just want to explore it a little bit before I move on to the next next place. Wow, it's actually a big area. Baghdad is so I have big. Long enough. Roshan and Fulad are surely awaiting me at the bureau. Yeah, they're waiting for me at the bureau. We just explored a little bit. Let's just go get our camel and continue forward. That's what we're gonna do. Go away. Dude, I'm not even near you. <laughs> like, he's telling me to go away. Where's my camel? Oh, here it is. So let's keep on going. Let's go meet up with them. See what intel we can find out after. Locate, use the echo to call for Let an object. Ooh, okay. So it looks like. Right here, right? Dude, this is cool that we can use our own bird. Oh no, that's to remove the marker. Stationary mode. So I think that's gonna be it. So we just marked it. So it's definitely right over here. I think it is. Let me see the map. Oh no, it's not even close, okay. So we're gonna place the marker right there. I'm gonna remove the marker because it's it's definitely it's definitely messing me up. So it looks like So it looks like we gotta go this way. How did I call my eagle? Oh I didn't meant to Sorry. I didn't mean to whistle. Did not mean to whistle. Trying to know where I'm going here, and it's such a big area. Greetings. Well met. Oh, this is a thunder Let us see what you have got. Lots of choice. Upgrading gear, up outfits and weapons can be upgraded by visiting the blacksmith or a tailor and giving them a suspicious upgrade schematic. The service will cost some amount of steel, ignorance, and leather. Upgrade on outfits will unlock new perk effects, while upgrading weapons will enhance their stats. You can find upgrading materials by exploring the world, open chests, and by completing certain activities. Weapon appearances can be modified by using the appearance service of the blacksmith. Only the appearance of the weapon will change. The equipped weapon will keep its stats and perks effect. So there's definitely going to be a lot of exploring. I will be off then. Farewell. There's going to be a lot of lot of exploring. Lots and lots of exploring. Bunga, I want to mark this. So where I mark is not too far. It's. I gotta go use. I'm gonna use this place to get go faster. Get underneath that. And I kinda hit a dead dead end-ish. And my camel can can climb up there. Okay, that's cool. So we just go Oh nice, we found a road. We found a road and we're gonna go. We're gonna make a turn over here. Nice. So I think we gotta go on foot from here, it looks like, yeah. It looks like we gotta go on foot. Because I wanna get to this area. Keep forgetting the L3's to sprint. Okay, I'm gonna take this fastest way imaginable and that's climbing. Is it right here? I think it is. Be welcome, sir. Oh no, there's, not, there's another shop. I must guy. take my leave. Farewell then. So that's not the. Where's this bureau? I can't even find this bureau. So 
mark it. So it's a little bit more front of me than I thought. All right. Jump. Well, at least we're now a trained assassin now. So it takes a little bit more, a little bit more of down over here. I mean, we should be fine. So it's like, well, oh my God, the mark is messing me up again. It says it should be right here. Get off the camel. So it's telling me it's right here. That's what it's telling me. Is it in this building? I think it's in this building. Uh, I'm trying to see if it's this building. I think it's down here. Yep, it's right here. Oh, wow. It's right here. Okay, here it is. The Bureau. We can remove the waypoint now. Oh, no. It removed by itself. Okay. So we're just walking right in. So this is the Hidden One's Bureau. I expected some sort of hovel. Some bureaus are. Others can be fitted with gold trim. Wherever space we settle, all that's important is that our occupancy remains a secret. We certainly have that here. Have you found anything helpful? Nothing hinting at Ali's whereabouts. However, Noor was in contact with someone named Beshi. A name I recognize as one of Ali's closest allies within the Rebel Collective. He's a dock worker at the Upper Harbor. See if he's in the area. He may have something to tell us about Ali's disappearance. I have found something. It seems Noor mapped out this very district. Marked the factory's area to the north. What is there? The rebel sympathizers. If Noor visited this area for any reason, it is worth following upon. Understood. These are not strong leads, but they are a start nonetheless. Fulav and I will see what more we can uncover. Be careful. See you guys in the next video.